Hey everyone, welcome back to the Gingerbread Mama. I'm Megan, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please um, consider subscribing if you like this video, and hit the bell so that you get notifications of all my new videos. Um, concerning my new videos, starting Sunday, I will be going to three videos a week. So you will be seeing me Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday, and I will be switching to 9 a.m. rather than p.m. Eastern time to try to give everybody a little more time during the day to watch my videos. So I hope that that works for everyone. If you would like to see them at a different time or different days, please um, let me know in the comments. Let me know when you would rather see my videos. Um, so let's just jump into it. Tonight I want to talk about a new type of parenting that I learned about today. It's called lawnmower parenting. So with helicopter parents, they hover and they swoop in to make sure that nothing happens to their kid. With lawnmower parenting, Apparently what happens is they mow through everything to make sure that nothing can go wrong. So rather than catching them when they fall, they're making sure they don't fall to begin with or that the fall doesn't hurt. So if, if they were outside, they'd put down like make it a padded area rather than just a hard concrete. So. The things that I really see red flags with this type of parenting, you're setting your kids up to fail when they go out into the real world. Now, maybe you plan on holding their hand until you absolutely can't anymore, and if that's your jam, then please, by all means, go ahead and do that. I do think it's very unrealistic, and you're not raising a independent person, but you know, to each their own. My personal opinion on this is that what happens when you're not around anymore? These kids are not learning to deal with disappointment. They're not learning to dis to learn from their mistakes or be taught by failure. They're not learning from losing or anything at all because you're not letting that happen. And when you don't let that happen, they're oblivious to the fact that there is anything other than winning or they don't know what pain is. And when they go into society as adults and they don't know how to cope with these things, it is going to be pandemonium for these people when they become full-fledged human beings who have to interact with everyone else in a job, at a college, you know, at a hospital even, whatever job that they have chosen for themselves. When they have to interact with people because, let's face it, there's almost no jobs where you don't at least have to be on the phone with someone they're not going to know what to do if someone starts yelling at them or if someone falls or if someone pushes them or confronts them. They're, they're going to be lost. They're going to be scared. They don't know how to interact with other people that way because it was shielded from them their entire lives. So think about this. How on earth would you possibly feel if you had to work with someone who had never experienced disappointment or who had never been told no in their life. It'd be pretty difficult to work with someone like that. So I understand that we all want to keep our kids from being hurt. We want to keep them from disappointment. We don't want to see them upset or crying or sad. We don't want to see them lose but it is part of life. And unfortunately, we can't stop that. Unless you are going to 
follow them around or put them in a big plastic bubble for their entire lives. There's no way that this type of parenting is going to work long term. And what happens when they have their own children? They're not going to know how to cope with anything that is stressful or challenging to them. So they're not going to be able to function, much less have relationships with anyone. So just think about it. Uh, if you know anyone who uses the lawnmower parenting method, please tell me about them in the comments. Not trying to gain gossip here, but I'd like to know how it's working for them and what they're doing to ensure that this somehow breeds a productive member of society. And if this is you, please share so that I can get more than one side of this story. Um, tell me your input on this. I want to know what everybody thinks about this type of parenting. To me, it just seems a little fairy tale like and and you're living kind of in a in a fantasy land but please if you are on the opposite side of this and this is how you parent tell me how you do this tell me what about this is best for your child tell me about it um, I hope everyone got some knowledge from this I learned about this type of parenting this morning so if you didn't hear about it, now you know, lawnmower parenting. Um, that's all I have for you today. I will see you guys with three videos next week. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and what kind of content you want to see from me in the future. If you want to see something different than what I normally do, please let me know. Just remember, there's no such thing as a cookie cutter life. Good night.